Alright. I guess now is a good time to talk about some stuff as any time. So, um... I've been talking with some of my YouTube buddies today. And, uh... Uh, we had some conversations about just some random stuff, but mostly 3D printing, and I'm going to get on with that later. But first things first is fake Beyblades. I don't mind them. I find they're pretty fun. The only reason why I <clears throat> make videos on them, well, there are several reasons, but uh, one reason is so I can have parts for 3D printed Beyblades. Another reason is so I can show people who don't have enough money to afford uh, to Cartome or Hasbro what they can get. And three, it's cheap. So it's like if I ever want to do like a cool video of like a stadium floating in a pool or something, if I get something flying in and rusts, who cares? I spent three bucks on it. Um. So, yeah, I'm not going to be buying many more fake Beyblades because it does take away from Hasbro and Takara Tomy profits. Um, I'm still going to get them. I'm just not going to get very many. Um, it's like, I'm not saying go buy fake Beyblades. Um... Because a lot of the time you get what you pay for and you don't get much. So it'd be better um, just to save up a little bit and get uh, the real deals. Um, so I don't recommend buying fakes. But it's your life. You can do what you want with it. Um, I'm going to get a couple of fakes. But I'm not going to get an insane amount. Now on to 3D printing. It's become a race to see who can build the heaviest. Less skill is being put into it. Um, and it's just become a game of who can put the most weight into it. Now, um, some Beyblades just took it way too far. It's like, I'm not trying to trash the guys by saying this. I'm just saying the way that me and my other friends see it. Uh, Nitro, it's too heavy. Uh, Colchidra, Hydra, it's too heavy. Delta, way too heavy. So like, you know what, I'm fine with having it where it can be dual rotation. That's cool. And it's like, I love the designs of them all. But there's too much metal. And, I mean, look at... My design for a V8 isn't for it to be really heavy. It's actually for it to be kind of light. Look at Uppercut. It's pretty light. Actually, it's really light. Um, V8 is going to be heavier than Uppercut just due to the bulkiness of it, because V8 is going to be a really thick and dense layer. It'll be heavy, but not because of metal added, because of its um, size. It's not going to be huge, but it's going to be really thick, because it's a defense type. Um, so it will it'll weigh a little more than uppercut, but... It's not going to be pushing the limits of what I see fit. Um, because it's like, it, it really depends on how you look at things. But all those big bay tubers have done damage to the community. It's like, I'm not throwing trash at them or anything, guys. Believe me, I respect the big bay tubers. But there's too much metal behind them. They're making it so it's not fun. It's like, I've designed a Beyblade. It's called Surge. Um, and it's designed for everyone. I want to upload the file to, like, Discord or something. Um, 
maybe I could restart uh, an Instagram page or something like that. Or maybe like a Facebook page and have a link so you could 3D print Surge. Um, because it's like I want everyone to have a 3D printed Beyblade, but I don't want anyone to be able to do what they want with it. Because it's like, yeah, anyone can have a 3D printed Beyblade. We all have that right. But the steps you take with it are uh, are the mistakes that you make. Uh, too much metal, you're ruining the game. Too much, too many gimmicks, you're ruining the game. It's like it's become. A war on who can make it the craziest. If all those Beyblades that I mentioned had less metal, it's like, I'm fine with the Beyblade having a little bit of metal, but not to the point where the layer is like 58 grams. It's like, that's too much, guys. If, like, Koshidra, Hydra, um... Delta, Nitro, if they had more plastic and less metal, I'd be fine with it, but they've just gone too far. Granted, my design for V8, it has a little bit of metal on it, but it's for balance purposes, not for weight. Um, that and it's going to make it look a little more aesthetically pleasing, because it's like, I've been waiting over three years to design a 3D printed Beyblade, and now that I can, I want to take it to the next step. Uppercut was sent to me as a gift. The next Beyblade that, the next 3D printed Beyblade on my channel, I want to be mine. I'm not going to start with V8 because I'm not good at designing yet. Um, I'm probably going to start out with Surge, and then I'm probably going to move on to Impulse. Surge, it, it's got basically two swords, like from Xeno Excalibur, like just the tip of it. It's one on each side. Nothing crazy, it's probably going to do more damage to itself than its opponents. It's going to be light. The combo that I had planned for it was Zero Cross Destroy. Um, Destroy is definitely the driver that I want on it. Um, but, who knows, um, Destroy is the route that I want to go, but I'm probably going to lighten it up, I'm probably going to make it more like 11 cross Destroy, because I don't want it to be insane, but I came up with a new design today, where it's a Beyblade like Phoenix, where it can hold armor, but you can switch out different armors for different battles, but they're not meant to come off. In battle, it's kind of like the GT gimmick, or like uh, how Twin Nemesis works. So my idea is you have a spot for armor to like lock onto, and you take your armor, and it's like it's just the circle. So it's like let's say you want to battle your friend, and they have a defense type, and you want to try to beat them. You take your stamina type armor. My phone's gonna die here soon. You take your stamina or attack type armor or defense type or balance or whatever armor you want. You put it on and lock it in and then you actually lock it so it can't come off. So now it's basically a Beyblade with armor that doesn't come off. So you have your own Beyblade and this way you can change depending on what you're fighting. It's kind of like the GT system but different. Uh, I'm going to elaborate on it more. But that's enough of my ranting, guys. I mean, it's... It's late. I'm tired. Um, You guys can throw hate at me if you want for the things that I say. I don't care. Uh, my friend, I'm going to keep him anonymous for now. He sees that the community has been done wrong by certain things. Um, mostly 3D printing. And I... I Honestly, I see where he's coming from. Um, <clears throat> but like, immense collision, 
um, bays like that, those I see as good 3D printed bay blades because they're not overpowered. Those style, I mean, I don't, I don't think they're good 3D printed bay blades, but I like the style. Um, it's just the way that I see things. But I don't like the idea of someone else doing it for you. You like buying the design for it or whatever and then bringing it to a place to have it printed like 3D Works or whatever the heck you would bring it to. I think the process should be you designing it on paper, you designing it in the computer, and then you printing it. And if you can't print it on a printer of your own, then bring it to someone. Make the file yourself, then have it printed, guys. Don't have someone else do it for you. Alright, I'm out. I'll see you guys around.